Good morning. Today we're going to be talking about the new belay system that we, as a department, are going to be utilizing for all future trainings that have to do with an elevated point. In other words, wherever there's a risk that somebody may fall, we'll have this belay system in place. In the past, we've utilized either a munter hitch or a pressing iron belay, whatever the case may be. But today, we're going to be talking about the new system that we're going to be moving to, and that's called the Petzl ID. Now, what you see here is a friction device that works on a uh, rope, a certain diameter, and we'll go over that in a minute. But basically, this system right here does several things. It allows you to operate a belay, it allows you to lock a system off as a capture device, and it also allows you to um, descend or lower a, a load down the side of a building. So, we'll start here on the front, and we'll kind of go over the ins and outs of this so you can see, because it's kind of intimidating the first time you look at it. It's got a lot of guts. It's got this thing on the side, not quite sure what that is. But hopefully we'll answer all those questions with this video. So as you notice on the front, we'll start here, there's this engraving on the side. And what this does, this shows you that once the system is fed through, this is what it should look like once it's all set up. Um, and then if you notice on the inside, it's also repeated on the inside there. You've got the guy with the hand, and you've got the end knot coming out this way. So that allows you to see where the system is actually being fed through their, your friction device. Now, um, if you notice on the back, right off the top, it says meets NFPA 1983, and it's been certified through UL. So it meets all the, the industry standards when it comes to testing and rating. So also what's kind of important and what you're going to be using as the user is this arrow and these engravings that are on the back of the handle. Now what this arrow does is it shows you what mode the clutch is in, which is this right here. It shows you what mode that is in. So, in other words, right now we are in store mode. Store mode means that I can uh, lock this up, it makes it nice and streamlined. I can put this inside of a pocket, inside of a, of a belay bag, or whatever it may be. When you pull it out of the kit, it should look like this. So when you pull this out, and you look at this, it should be in the store mode. And what this does, this allows you to just kind of package everything nice and neat. Just to the left of that is the lock mode. Now you hear that clutch clicking in there? We'll go over that in a minute, but I want you to hear that and see it as we move around this circle. So now I'm in lock mode, and what that does is it locks the clutch over so the rope cannot feed through the system. So if somebody were to become fouled up on the line, or whatever the case may be, we need to do a pickoff rescue, or bring in a bucket or, or a ladder to free them up. That's where we want to be. We want to be in the lock mode so they don't move on the system while we're working to get them off of the system. All right. And then if we go all the way over, we have the descent mode and we have the belay mode. And the descent mode has these little hash marks on there. And what that's for is to show you kind of the operating area of where you can be within this arrow and these hash marks to allow the system to move freely and allow the individual, the load, whatever it may be, uh, either move up and down the tower or repel, whatever it may be. But these hash marks um, also indicate that this rope cannot move faster than two meters per second. So if somebody were to try and repel or outrun their belay, it's going to lock them off and they're not going to go anywhere because they're dropping faster than two meters per second. It acts kind of a, uh, as a governor. Now if I click this over to belay, what this does, this allows the clutch to move completely free as the system moves up and down, or as they're repelling, or as they're on their bailout kit, whatever it may be. But that's 99% of the time the mode that we're going to be in as we utilize this system. Um, one more thing I forgot to mention. When you're on descent mode, in order to let the system work, you have to push in this yellow button right here. And that allows that clutch to move on the inside. So let's go ahead and click it over come on the inside and so I can show you the guts of this thing. We'll start with the clutch and then we'll move down to this little gizmo down here. If you notice, like I said before, you've got those engravings that show where the end knot is and where your brake hand should end. So that's how the rope is going to feed through. If you notice on the top here it says rope diameter 10 to 11 and a half millimeters. And what that shows is the diameter of the rope that this friction device, this specific model, is designed for. Our belay kit is 10 and a half millimeter rope, which is all black line, it's all labeled, so you know what you're using. So don't try and use any other rope through here except for the rope that comes with the belay kit. Now, 
these teeth down here, what these do is if you were to accidentally load the system backwards and somebody were to load it, these teeth would kick over and it's gonna grab into the sheath of the rope and it's not going to allow the person to move at all. It'll actually lock into the rope and no one's going anywhere. And you'll start to realize, hmm, I loaded it backwards. So that's why that teeth are in there. It's kind of a safety feature. Um, also, if you notice <clears throat> when I do this, you have the little black handle right here. And what this is for is, let's say for instance, that scenario played out. I lock this in, I put my carabiner on here, I lock off the carabiner, we go to load it and those teeth kick into the rope and I realize that that's loaded backwards. I can push this little black lever over, take it off, it's still connected to my carabiner, I'm still connected to an anchor point, disconnect the rope, feed it back through, and then click it back in. That's what this is for. So let's go over the actual clutch itself. So we'll start with the lock mode. Okay, so now if you notice, when I move this into lock mode, this clutch is going to move to this bar. Okay, you hear it click in, that means it's locked, that clutch has moved over, it's not going to go anywhere. The rope is locked off, it's not going to move. If I move this into the belay mode, this allows the clutch to move freely. This only operates if I have the system at a parallel angle to the load. In other words, I'm at a 90 degree turn to where the rope is feeding through here. So the rope is feeding like this, I'm at a 90 degree turn, and it sits just like this. This allows the person to operate down the side of the tower without being caught up on the belay. If the person were to drop and load the system, it's the clutch is gonna click over, and it's gonna go in, and it's going to um, lock off. If I'm in the descent mode, which is here, I have to push this yellow lever down to allow that clutch to move, and it moves with the load. You can see it's a little bit more rigid, it doesn't move as freely, and that's because you gotta push in the yellow button. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of the actual system itself. I'll go ahead and put it back in store mode. Okay, and we'll go over here and we'll talk about the actual system itself as it's rigged up. Set that down. All right, so what we have here is we have a load, which is just a 25 pound dumbbell, that we have rigged to our pestle, our pestle device. Now I left this gate open so you can see the clutch. Now if I close this, it looks like this. One thing that's important is you hear that clicking of the black gate going back over. That way you know that this system is completely enclosed. All right? If this were to be like that and you were to operate it, that's a no-go. That's a safety fail because this could come off potentially. But you click this over. Of course it is. There it goes. And that, now you're, you're locked in. You're ready to rock. So I'll take this off just so you can see the inside of the actual system. Now what this gate does is this keeps the rope and everything inside moving and operating smoothly. Obviously that's kind of why it's there. So as I demonstrate this, this rope may come off this clutch, but that's only because the gate is open. So right now we are in the belay mode, which you can see arrow belay. All right. And what this does is if I have the system, and I'm going to take the load off of this real quick and the person is moving, I'm at a 90 degree angle, you can see that the clutch allows it to go. If the system were to drop too fast, it pulls it out of where the position is and locks it off. That's the way the belay works. So if they were to outrun this kit and it comes to out where it's no longer in a parallel position, which was here, it locks, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so that's how the belay works. Um, now, if I move this over to the, let's do, that's lock. Now if you watch that clutch, it doesn't move. And actually let me move it over here so I can get some more, uh, more rope to work with. You can see that belay is kind of working as well. If I take the load off, the load on, it locks. All right, so let's move it over into the lock. Now watch this clutch, if you will. See it click over? Alright, 
that's locking into the rope. Now I can't pull this off, it can't go anywhere. We're locked off, the system is locked, all right? Now if I go into the descent mode, which I kind of have to utilize this gate or else this thing will come off of here. Now if you see, rope comes in, this rope bends up over this little curved piece of metal here, and this is where your brake is gonna hold. All right, so I'm gonna slip it through this carabiner just to hold it so you can see so my hands are out of the way. And I'm gonna clip this over into the descent mode, which is there. All right, now I've got my hand on the brake, just like it shows in the picture. I'm gonna push this yellow lever and push up, and the, the load will start to descend. Now if it drops faster than two meters per second, it locks. It doesn't allow the person to go anywhere. And I'm still in descent. I'm still in descent mode. I can still lower them or repel. But because I went faster than two meters per second, it stops. So holding my brake, pushing the lever in, and allowing it to go, and rescue on the ground. All right? So that's how that works. While we're here, we'll talk about the carabiners real quick, just so I have your attention. If you notice two differences, do you have red? You have no red. This is locked, this is unlocked. One thing to remember, red equals dead. In other words, the carabiner is open. So anytime you walk by a carabiner and you're looking at it and you see red, close the gate, all right? That means it's no longer open and nothing's gonna come out of there. So that's pretty much the ins and outs of the pencil ID. Uh, we'll get down to the training grounds. We'll go over this more in detail. You'll get to put your hands on it. We'll put a load on there. We'll set it up over and over again, and you'll come up with it, hopefully. All right, thanks for watching.